Well, there we are then, people still arriving, coming into the venue. It's uh, just a little bit of cloud cover of late, but it's uh, still beautiful. And they're the Chinese fans having a ball with their flags. They're all excited. Why wouldn't you be? They've won the event 10 times, for goodness sake. They're after an 11th title. And, uh, well, all ages enjoying what's upcoming. And China have a 1-0 lead at the moment over Denmark. They've just won the mixed doubles. But back to our tie, mixed doubles. Talking of that, Poivre and Talatanachai played a very, very canny match to win two games to zero. Next up, it's Hyo Kwang Hee against Kantafong Wang Chiroin. And the Korean Thai clash continues. The Koreans with it all to do if they're to draw level here. That's a big ask from Hyo Kwang Hee because he's ranked 51 in the world and he's up against Kantafong Wang Chiroin, who's only 18th on the rankings. So on paper, the Thai should secure this, but there's a lot of shoulds in sport as we know. And Heo Kwang He, well, he had a bit of an ankle roll the other day when he took on Angus Nkar Long, and he was right up in the game. And poor fella sort of stumbled, and it really uh, hampered him, and, 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 and his campaign was kind of pretty much over from then on in, really. Let's hope he fares a little better tonight in this one. Heo Kwang He from Korea leading the way out. He's a fine player, very strong, and the five foot eight. At the font point to Rowan, just behind. He's like a bull as well, a tenacious terrier, I'd describe him as. He's really quick, really gutsy, gets stuck in. Got the orange shoes on. So it should be an interesting match. Thoughts from him? Yeah, on paper, as you say, it looks like a straightforward thing. Um, I think that uh, Wang Chiron did not play his best uh, when he lost to uh, Vladimir Malkov from Russia. He really looked a little bit lost in that match and couldn't find the answers. So here we have a head-to-head -head between the two. It's, uh, it's one all. So um, I possibly think that the pressure might come to this man a little bit. The where the Korean player is... Uh, He's quite well known for being playing well when he's the underdog. He's a strong unit as well. I watched him in the Angus and Carlong match. I called that match, and Heo was impressive. You know, he led. I'll tell you later about that. But as we peruse the vitals of Cantafon Wanchero, and just 20 years of age these days, has been three spots higher at 15 on the rankings. A strong unit himself. He's had eight wins over ten losses this year prior to coming in here. It's, uh, as you say, uh, one to one locked in head to head. And, uh, well, he's won five more matches this year than his opponent, and there was the proof that he lost to Vladimir Malkov, who played an absolute blinder, the Russian. That was 50 minutes, 21, 13, and 15. But yeah, that might phase him a little. He was down on paper to win that one, but did manage to perform. I think he was just sort of stifled by the brilliance of the Russians. So they've backed him. They've gone with him again above Koshyuk Fedpradab. He's having a really woeful year himself, the Thai number one singles player. Just ranked a spot higher at 17 in the world. Heo Kwang Hee. Now, what a dish man, 23 years old. He's very, very physically strong. He has been as high as uh, seven spots higher, 44 in the world. That was ready to play a little while back. He's from Seoul. That was back in April of this year, but he's a tricky customer. And as I say, he had the beating of Nkarlong before he rolled his ankle. He was 13 7 up in game three when it happened. And thereafter, well, there was a lot of sympathy for him because the match kind of slipped through his fingertips. And Angus Nkarlong was aware of what was going on from Hong Kong and really capitalised well. He locked down, became robotic and repeatable. He didn't miss much thereafter, really. So it was a, a good win for Angus, but shame for Heo. That was the sort of sentiment that we felt coming out. Indian umpire. Right, see Jacob. Chinese service judge, Su. Ladies and gentlemen, on the right, Thailand, represented by Katapong Wang Charong. And on my left, Korea, represented 
by Wong He. Korean serve. Love on. Play. Match two, men's singles in this tie between Korea and Thailand. Korea trailing love one to give one you a sense of context. Love. Just to rewind, it was the sort of ankle roll a couple of days ago for Leo that he kind of just partially rolled. Do you know what I mean? His foot was slipped underneath yeah. him. He didn't completely roll. So you would imagine just a, quite a bit of icing over the last couple of days and he'll be fine. Um, if, he, if he wasn't fine, I wouldn't have been good. Yeah. He, he must be 100% because they have another a good player um, in the team, Korea, and uh, they would have played... Uh, Dong Kyung, if um, if he if he wasn't ready, Go that's for sure. Or. And I'm surprised they happened off because Lee Dong Kyung is 26 in the world. So uh, yeah, but they not that it's everything, of course. But no, but I think they they reckon that uh, Hyo Kong Hee can can just do better. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not surprised. I was very impressed when he played there uh, in Kalong. But he's a heavy built guy, and, and that's what we see here. This shot here from Ron Charon was really nicely played, and you can see how Hyo Kong Hee really struggles to get to these short ones because he is heavy built and uh, a little bit on the slow side. And would you agree, Morton, that the flip side of that is that, you know, in a, in a perhaps slower to medium haul, he's got the power to hit through? That's what I saw the other night. The thing is that he's got a very good smash in here, and he's, he's always got a very good smash, but we've got a prime example here <laughs> on how to do it. But uh, he's got the weapon. So he can score the points Three, in, in this hole, and perhaps that's the reason why he's chosen to play. You know, we sit here as trying to second-guess everything and be the experts and everything, but we do not have the insights to what the coaches and team managers and so on Four. have. And Three. therefore, sometimes you think, oh, why didn't they do that? But they are, I'm sure they are very valid reasons for so. Some silver, four, oh. Back up on. Racket gone. That should be a. Yeah. He can he, he. Oh, that's oh, going out. That is criminal. <laughs> He's upset that, with himself. That was good work. Good work, criminal. <laughs> because he had that one in the bag. He heard that the string was gone and he rightly so played to the background and all that. But then on that one, he couldn't keep it in. Incidentally, they met uh, this time last year at the uh, Thomas and Hubert Cup. Finals Four. and uh, Weintraub came through. Please. We take a look at the head-to-head. -head. And here, Kwan He won in the uh, New Zealand Open last year. Pretty much almost this time last year. So they split previous showings. I don't know how much we can read into that, but this gives you a little bit of context as well. Interesting in that match or uh, that tournament in New Zealand, Hill Kang he, he came from the qualifying. He was actually a qualifier in the tournament. And if Six, I'm not mistaken, five. he got all the way to the semis. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah sounds about right. Well, I mean, he, he won 21 7, 21 16, so he, he absolutely crushed Wang Churo and down there in Auckland. Now he lost the quarterfinals to Lin Dan. 21-16, 21-16. No shame there, Lindan went on to win it, didn't he? He did. Beat Jonathan Christie. So, so Christie avenged set. that defeat this oh. year. He managed to go all the way. And out to Long in the final. Just a week or so ago. Play. Maybe a couple of weeks ago now.
but it's a nice follow-up here by Seven, He got there slightly late, but the whole idea, the concept of the follow-up was really nice. He strikes me, this fellow, as quite an aggressive player, but, but he, he, he's really richly physically talented as well as the way that he plays his trade, but sometimes he kind of, I don't know, you just see these unforced errors bleed into his game. I guess it's because he is quite aggressive. Or does he switch off a little? I'm not entirely sure, Morton. You've got a much better... It's tough to say, um, but he's only interesting, I think. He's only played four tournaments uh, this year. In total, that's a beauty. Really well played. Good disguise. Seven, um, Seven And being oh. the chosen men's singles player to play in the Suleiman Cup, it's not a lot of tournament played this year. I thought year. of. Yeah, which surprised me. But it all comes down to the fact, and we have to say this, that Son Wen Ho, who is world number four or five, I think his ranking is locked as, as number six. But uh, he, of course, was supposed to play. Uh, but he ruptured his Achilles on the 23rd of March. This year. What it was. I wonder what the injury was. And there was another great example. Sorry to distract more. On, on the heel, sort of, you know, closing down and squirting that one wide of the line. Leon. Just seems to do it a little too often for me. Although I think he's richly talented in so many ways. Perhaps it's a concentration thing. That's a beautiful, that's really nicely played. So he's got bone crushing power, hasn't he? Oh. Really stocky unit, Hale. Yeah, yes. Wang Chiron downed, perhaps possibly not quite winded. Yeah, maybe he is. Took him a little while to get up from this fall. Let's see it again. Yeah, uh, you can see it's not coming over. Um, you know, you have to have a lot of respect for all these young Korean players they have chosen this year, and they, they still have a very, very strong team. And can you imagine? imagine? They were, I was just thinking the same. You know, if they adding, weren't hurt. Yeah, if you were adding Son Wan Ho onto this team. Son Ji Hyun as well. Blake? Yeah, but they have a good substitution. <laughs> Don't they just? We'll be seeing her. Up in a couple of matches time. Good play by Wang Chiron. He really has to prove that he is the best men's singles player from Thailand and can shoulder the responsibility at times like this. Thank you. So it's over. Nine, eight. It was good deception, Nine. but uh, Hugh Kwan He did not really fall for it. Uh, it was definitely Can going down as an unforced error. No. So it's over. Then, oh. Oh, that's out. That's really unlucky for Hyo Kwang Hee. But well played by Wang Chun He deserved that point. He heads to the turn, does the tie. We have a solitary one point advantage. 11 10 to the man in the yellow shirt.
Well, it's been a, a sort of topsy-turvy opener, actually. 11, 10. Both players are Play. really staying very tight to each other. It's a, it's a narrow deficit between them the whole way. Just missed. I'm surprised he doesn't want to challenge that. It looked mighty close. There's no gesture at all, so he obviously agreed with the call. But he'll be frustrated because he engineered a beautiful hole in the court. Have a strong suspicion that Kusid uh, Petrovic is not really ready. He's uh, their top player because uh, yesterday they chose uh, Sidikom Tamasin to play. That's right. <laughs> so um, he's 25 on the world ranking, but uh, somehow it just uh, gives me an idea of the fact that maybe uh, Kusid is not ready. Kusid's results have been, you know, really, really poor. I was studying them earlier. It's interesting to see that uh, one uh, Kwan he, he is very, very often opting for the straight smashes. And he's doing that because if he goes cross court and the block is coming, he's got to scamper the full diagonal of the court. And he doesn't want to do that, so he very often Late. goes for straight smashes. And that is something that Wang Chun should take into account when he's defending. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Back to uh, Kusit uh, Pratap. He's won only one match in the last four tournaments. He's just been struggling of late. Only three matches he's won this year, ten losses. And I think that's it. I just think he's really low on confidence right now. That said, though, Thamasin is ranked 25 in the world. He put up a really good show against Momotra, actually. He did yesterday. Yeah, he had a big lead in yeah. the opening game. I think something like 19, 14 up. <laughs> Stuff like that, uh, Wang Chulun have to get earlier at the net. He's really getting it very, very low at the net. That's why he's missing it. But in order to inject the pace that he needs to, to play in, he needs to attack these kind of uh, shots much higher at the net. We have a challenge here. Let's call out. Out. I can understand why Hiu Kong he is challenging that one. It looks really, really close. It's a good choice. Yeah, he's had a couple like that, hasn't he? And he's pretty eagle-eyed, I reckon. And that's why. Look at that. A hair's breadth. Correction in. He's got an easiness about him, Morton, that just sort of suggests that he's, he's quite, just quite 14, comfortable 12. with 
being out here in this kind of situation. I do like his demeanor and Play. the way that he sort of swaggers around. It's all very easy. There's a grace to his badminton. Oh, that's a miss. But it was really good anticipation there. Saw the uh, reverse drop shot. This one here from Wang Chorun. He really read that well. Had a great opportunity on the spinning net shot, but missed it. And luckily for the man here in the yellow T-shirt. I think it would be great if Wang Chorun was, when he's jumping up, not always playing the shots downwards. Uh, smashes, half smashes, slices and so on, but also making use of uh, an attacking clear to move his opponent, that would be really nice. Beautiful tight that from White Oh, Good Deadlock after exactly a quarter of an hour played in this men's singles clash. Still no telling who's going to be no more. No, please. taking the opening board. game. Back on board. Firm umpiring from the Indian man in the chair. He's taking no prisoners. Straight smash. One of the first cross courts we saw. 15, 14, right to board, please. Right to board. It's a lucky uh, way to turn the point around. Great defense because he got turned hard in that rally, Wang Turo. the point somehow. They all feel uh, a little wounded there, I'd imagine. Yeah, but Wang Chiron is a very agile player. He's very, uh, very good balance in his game and, uh, of course, have that agility to, to move and swerve really nicely on the court. And he got it, got it back. I wouldn't say with no trouble, but he read it well. Thai battler, very determined he is. It's written all over him. Yeah, the last shot, however, though, let him down a bit. This one here is going upwards the whole time, as you can see. It's not a flat one, it's actually having an upward curve. And that Thank gave Hiu Kwang He an opportunity that he missed. nice around the head action in that rally there where he jumped from base position all the way down to his backhand side and smashed it really good agility once again well five out of the last six now has Wang Chiro in that's gone so, as well a little lapse in concentration from here he's got to be very careful here 18, sliding away from the Korean too many cheap points
Hadakan, amongst others, absolutely delighted with that uh, flurry. Korea will be in deep trouble if they lose this one, but uh, so would Thailand. So, as I say, I really honestly think it's hanging on this one. Yeah, me too. It feels like that, doesn't it? Oh. Good leave, stopping the From run of points. 16, 19. Because up until then, Wang Chiron had won seven of the last eight. He was on an absolute roll, and this didn't miss by March. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. Great yeah. relief for Hill. Play. Go. Indian Empire having no messing. Good. Players like to know exactly where they're at. Cut up on. Well, they can't quite believe it, can they, the Thais? I think they'll be delighted if they can They're get very, this game. And very happy. Very happy faces. Yeah. Good response from Hale, but is it too little too late as far as this open is concerned? Secures the opening game after 22 minutes. 21 points to 17. Playing really, really well at the back end of that opening game. Back to Font Wancherone with the fist pump out. He's a game to the good. Game two. Love on. Play. First blood to Thailand. This race to two games in this match. Oh, that was sport. He should have gone down the line on that one. Lucky to get away with one. the cross one there no. by Wang Chiron. Is there anything that you see with your expert eye, best in the world, that you would script if you were his coach to try and turn this around for the Korean right now? I, I think, um, of course, must try to cut down on, on these unforced errors. That's that's the first, and that's a must. Um, then 
He's very, very strict in his smashing pattern, if you can say that, and is too predictable. Thank you. It's always you. straight down the lines, and then from his around the head situa situation, he's got that reverse Another smash one. as well. But he has got not Play. a cross court smash from his forehand side cross to the forehand side of Manchuran. And we still need to see that. We still need to see more slices. We need to. I, I would like. It. I was him. One, I would actually go. try to get it down and play more flat drives. The Korean players are really strong when it comes to flat driving, and see whether he could win some easy points there as well. Brilliant answer. So we saw just three, one. He doesn't get a challenge too much either, does he? I thought that would might have kissed the line. But no, I'm, I'm pretty certain that oh. was out. But there's no doubt that Wang Chiron is having a good self-confidence from winning the first game. <laughs> Didn't touch it, he gestured. He kind of sold it to the umpire as well. What? See it again. Managed just to pull the racket away in time. Ho, 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 no delay. Quick. Five, one. Great. And in that situation, if possible, Liu Kong he of course have to try to turn that one cross court. All mincing as well as know that the next attack will be at the net, the follow-up. So try to turn his opponent would be a good thing. So it's over. One, two, five. On a roll again, the man in the yellow shirt. Now he's only five foot eight, but take him lightly at your peril. He is really, really nifty around the court. Three in a row for him. He's out. He's got a guy Three, against complacency. Five. He'll know that. He's got to be disciplined with himself. And that's, as I say, those kind of mistakes Six, must disappear from his game if he wants to win this match. Great deception from Mike Nothing Seven, was I see. <laughs> Never tire of watching their reaction, do you? It's more dramatic than the point sometimes. <laughs> but that's that's all Rexy Manike. Yeah, that's a very nice hold and flick again from Montreal. Rexy was giving it more than some of the players at the back a while ago. He's <laughs> <laughs> quite a character, isn't he? He is. <laughs> See, that was a good defensive shot, turning cross court. Got there in the end. We kind of went round the houses to put the lid on the point. Good uh, patience and diligence from Hill. Ever tenacious in defence. Leaving it all out there, it's admirable, his attitude. It's absolutely... Thank you. shirt Thank you. is just stuck to every part of his upper body. Drenched in sweat. So it's over. Four. Seven. Come 
around it. Yeah, good shot. We have a challenge. One hold, I think that would be unsuccessful. I do. It felt like it hit plumb on the line. The beating heart denotes that we're going upstairs, though. One challenge remaining. So we saw what? Eight, four, play. from Il Kundi here. Eight. That one from the uh, around the head position down the line into the deep forehand corner okay. of Wang Chiron. It was a hold and a flick. That was really nice. Uh, good deception on that attacking clear. Lee? Forced the mistake from the Thailand player. Chiron is proving a real handful right now because he's just that little bit more disciplined with all that he's doing and he's just a bit more patient with the building Eight. of the point. His hair was a little gung-ho at times, pulling the trigger perhaps a little too early and some of his selections a little bit rash as well. Oh, that's a loose one, getting away with it. Smash again, then Morton, as you say. Yeah. So it's over. Six, nine. Right the foot. Right the foot. Precisely struck, finding its mark just inside of the line. Yeah, now, how good a front runner is this young man? Get ready and show that 20 years old. Played a lot of match badminton now over the years. Thank you. Thank you. Back on yeah. yeah, Wang Chiron is, is on 22 tournaments um, for his uh, world ranking. Of course, only the 10 best results are counting. So he can actually throw away 12 tournaments and only count the 10 best. Uh, last year, he was just as active and he got to the uh, World Tour Finals. He qualified at the end of the year as number seven on the list. But when it comes to the World Tour Finals, it's accumulating points. Nothing is thrown away. This year, he's number 12 so far. In the top eight, we're going to play. Seven, nine. So he's got work to do then if he wants to uh, repeat that visit. Yeah, and he's got to keep it up on these 20, 22, 23 tournaments because he's got to throw away quite a lot. So they just take what your 10 best, is it? For, for your world ranking, you take your 10 best. For uh, the World Tour Finals, you just accumulate one by one. That's out. Thomas over. 10, 7. Morton, how much as a former player does it mean when you're in that team event and you've got those guys behind you willing you on? Does it make a big difference to you as a player? It's not a scenario that um, badminton players are too um, familiar with. And we always play individual events and all that, so it's very different to play a team event and you don't want to let your teammates Yeah, down. of course, yeah, and too much peer pressure. Do, do, you feel, do you feel that? Is that sort of palpable? And, 
tangible when, when, when you're, you're young. When you're young, I'm telling you, your heart beats. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. just racing. As you get older, you get more used Number to it seven. and you get more experienced. But I guess there's certain players that don't like that sort of situation. As we head to the turn, anyhow, change the topic. 11-7 for Wayne Tyrone in the driving seat again in the second game. Yeah, understand you. Yeah? Uh, where money, money born from? Here's Mr. Club. Now in here. Are you focused on the football? Chat, 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 chat. Chat, 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 Yeah, yeah. Now today's about mental fighting, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. ตีนเดินมาเวลาอย่างนั้นนะครับครับเกมหน้าเดินมาเสียอ่าบังคับเขาไม่ได้ต้องต้องคอยหลอกลูกบอลทีละจ้องทีละจ้องเหมือนเด
characterized his whole performance out here, hasn't it? Just a little too hit and miss. And against a tiger like Wang Chiron, who's just preys on those kind of unforced errors, it's just a meat and drink for the man in the yellow shirt. Yeah, but he's also taking his time, Wang Chiron. I think he's... The umpire is correct. He wants to keep Wang Chiron on the court. He's also used to having uh, these breaks the whole time. As soon as he's played a rally, he can go out, towel a bit, and then come back in. But the umpire really keeps him on the court. 14 left. And I guess that becomes a little bit of a factor, doesn't it, in the grand scheme of things, if you're playing out of your rhythm? It can. This completeness. Can't, be the <laughs> can't believe that can happen. <laughs> and that's a lot for me sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. it seems to be written in the stars for King Tavon Wang Chiroen today. I'm suggesting he hasn't worked very hard. Of course he has. Had a decent match here. Again, using that straight smash well. Service over. Grand 16. As well, Hale, but it was him that buckled first. White Throne staying intact, still with a five point cushion. And it looks at this stage, with what we've seen so far, that it's a little irretrievable for the Korean right now. I bet there'll be some glum faces in the bench. Brilliant. 18 drugs. Setting sail for home right now. Six yeah, point looking, looking like a foregone conclusion now, 18 12 up. But he's a young man, not that experienced, so you never know if the nerves are setting in. But 18 12 is a commanding lead. It's on the line. As he was sliding on his yellow shirt and on his tummy there, he managed just to flick a finger out. I think that's how I'm going to challenge. Look at that. Watch him put the finger up. <laughs> wants to go upstairs. I don't know, I think that. Get ready, Kuka, get ready, Kuka. There, the there it is, yeah. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So it's over. Thank you. Lots and lots of perspiration on the court. Thank it's you. not easy to muck it up. Even though it looks like it's all gone, it's still quite slippery. You have to be very careful. 13, 18, play. Well played. Beautifully engineered. 14, I'll try to 18. notice we have a half smash cross court from forehand to forehand. It's not a full smash, but it's a half smash, but it's opening up the court really well and giving the point for Kwang Hee. Get ready, Kuka. Get ready, Kuka. Ready to play. Ready to play. Play. Oh. 
15-18. He knows his back's against the wall right now. And he is really scrapping. Play on, play on. A hat trick of Korean points. Really well placed by Wang Chiron there. 15. Jumping to his forehand and Back placing it on the body on the forehand side of uh, Quang He. But that's really well placed. Quang He have to move Everybody. towards the backhand side to defend the smash down the line. And as Please. he's doing so, he's opening up for that body smash on the forehand side. It's a nice one. And that's out. Bit of a tired shot, the last one there from Mekwang He. Yeah, looks a bit laboured. Uh, he was really struggling to get there. As that one just spilled wise then, it uh, brings up after just over three quarters of an hour on the match clock, five match points in favour of Catafon Point Chiro and the Indian Empire has done a grand Thank job you. of presiding over this one and managing the players, keeping the flow of play. Brilliant. So, five opportunities Please. to put his team 2-0 up in this overall tie. Leon. Go. Right to run. Thailand will be delighted if they win this one. I can assure you. Not on the first one. Some over. 16, 20. <laughs> he's found that as well. And now it's all up for Kanban Wang Chiron not to panic. Still keep what he's doing. Don't take too many chances. Wait for the proper opportunity and go for it. Kanthafon Wang Chiroen, jubilant in celebration, gracious as well, coming through with a couple of 17s. And there, as you call, Morton, is the delight from the Thai camp. That's Last some performance point. from the 20 year old 21, 17, Thai. 21, 17. 48 minutes it took, and he comes through in some style to put. Heo Kwan He away in straight gains. It's a terrific effort. He'll be delighted with that. And he gets his first win in Nanning. Confirmation of the scoreline. Wang Chiron coming through. 21-17, 21-17, 46 minutes played.